New advances in Shenzhen's coal industry are constantly emerging, and the formation of new quality productive forces is speeding up. Taiyuan City promotes household services in communities striving to enhance the sense of happiness of local residents. Located in Daixian County of Xinzhou City in Shanxi Province, Yanmen Pass boasts boundless mountains in the Mandarin Great Wall. Hello and welcome to Exploring Shanxi. I'm Lian Xiaoqi. Recently, there have been constant news about Shanxi's coal industry. Traditional industries have been equipped with cutting-edge technology, and energy-intelligent computing platforms have been officially launched and put into operation. The traditional industries continue to bring new surprises, and the province takes innovation as the lead to explore and cultivate new quality productive forces in the traditional coal industry. This is a coking plant in Hejin, Yuncheng. Trucks loaded with coking coal are queuing up for coal quality testing. Two robotic arms take samples precisely and fit them into the coal quality analyzer. Just 90 seconds later, the quality indicators of the coal on the car have been displayed on the screen. This is based on spectral technology, and thus the inspection is fast, non-destructive, and environmentally friendly. This dual spectrum technology comes from the state key laboratory of quantum optics and optical quantum devices of Shenzhen University. Last year, the research team applied this cutting-edge technology to the traditional coal industry for the first time. The core of new quality productive forces lies in innovation. In the small branch of coal quality inspection, we adopt some methods that have not been thought of before. And use innovation to develop our new quality productive forces. Recently, this technology received a high score evaluation report from the Shenzhen Province Electric Power Association. The report shows that this technology has significant economic and social benefits and broad application prospects. In the exhibition hall of Shenzhen Coal Industry Internet Intelligent Computing Platform. There is an ecological tree that gathers hundreds of leading enterprises and scientific research institutes in energy and digital fields. The latest AI model algorithm from hundreds of industries have just been implanted into this ecological tree. The platform aims to create an ecological cluster for the coal industry and meet the intelligent needs of coal mines. The biggest feature of the platform is cloud connectivity. When a new technology is integrated into the ecological tree, it can receive precise training on big data from over 700 coal mines in the province. Behind the intelligent computing platform is the strong computing power support provided by Shenzhen Unicom's big data center. The intelligent computing center is currently the only vertical industry intelligent computing center in Shanxi. This is also our practical exploration of building new quality productive forces. With the fast-paced lifestyle and increasingly professional social division of labor, household services such as infant care and home-based elderly care have become an increasing choice for more and more people. At present, various communities in Taiyuan City are also starting from reality, promoting household services into their communities. And striving to improve the residents' sense of happiness. In Bingdong Community, Pingyang Lu Street, Xiaodian District, Taiyuan City, a parenting public welfare class with the theme of happiness at the doorstep has attracted many residents. I have learned how to take care of children and how to play games with them. This kind of household service lecture also provides employment opportunities for some residents. Liu Dianlin, a post-90s mother of two, found a job as a mother and baby care nurse through these lectures. I used to be a full-time mother and saw a mother and baby care course organized by the community, which exposed me to the industry of mother and baby care. It is reported that currently the Shenzhen Good Luck Family Service Group, where Liu works, has trained more than 50,000 household service practitioners. 
to better serve residents and enhance their health concepts. A public welfare consultation activity in Huayuan Community, Jianxiaoping District, Taiyuan City, has attracted many residents to participate in. I feel very relaxed and comfortable after experiencing it. I think this public welfare activity is very good. We are conducting this form of public welfare activity for the first time in the community, which has helped many elderly people in the community. The traditional Chinese medicine-free clinic at the doorstep provides a sense of security and warmth for the elderly. The parenting classes in the community enable better quality education for the young. These small things that serve the people have truly enhanced the residents' sense of happiness. Located in Daixian County of Qingzhou City in Shanxi Province, Yanmen Pass boasts boundless mountains and the Mandarin Great Wall. Today, let's follow a tour guide in the scenic spot to unveil stories of the Millennium Great Wall and feel the profound charm of history. <laughs> 各位游客呢，我们大家可以看，我们在的位置呢是燕母关的地利门。当时形容燕母关重要性，一句话可以概括：得燕母关者得天下，失燕母关者失中原。我叫戴贝贝，我是从河北嫁过来的。在我的认知当中，长城只有北京才有。来到了山西，来到了雁门关这里做讲解之后，我才了解到，原来山西它是最古老的长城，有着三千五百多公里，跨越了从战国时期到明朝时期一千多年的历史进程。所以我们说，长城博览在山西，山西就是一座长城博物馆。而雁门关这的长城，应该说是万里长城当中最具代表性的一个关赛之一，它是万里长城当中军事防御体系的典型代表。雁门关在修复之前的话呢，是比较苍凉的，只保留下来几道城门楼。经过几年的修复，现在雁门关打造成了集军事文化、长城文化、公安文化、旅游文化为一体的九寨门关。这里呢，也是古长城，是明长城众多风情当中重要的一处地标。很多游客慕名而来，使我印象最深刻的呢，就是两位来自桂林的游客。他拉住我说：“这里真是一座很雄伟的关隘，很值得来。”听到这样的赞美声，我们也感到很欣慰，很高兴。山西给我们这些外乡人的认知就是产煤的地方。但是来到这里之后，可以感受到山西有着五千年的华夏文明历史。虽然我是一个外乡人，但是我越来越爱这里的一切。希望通过我的知识呢，可以把长城的知识传递下去，让更多的人来重新认识一下山西，重新认识雁门关。That's all for today's exploring Shanxi. Before we go, don't forget to scan the QR code below to watch previous videos of our program. See you next time.